<laughs> Who said it? I don't know. One of the boys. All right, well, one of the boys sent us something. He said, give a man some scrap, you can feed him for the night. Teach a man to scrap, you can feed him for his life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm claiming you can feed your whole family if you learn how to keep life like we do. All this scrap. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, there's more work involved in the lifestyle that we live than any job that I've ever had. And she's had like 50 jobs. I've had a million jobs. Some I had to wear a button up and a nice little Woo. pit skirt. Woo! And heels. Woo! And makeup and eyelashes and do my hair. I've worked at clubs. I've worked at hotels. I've worked at restaurants. I've worked at pet stores. I've worked at a pet store. That was my first job ever across the street from my house. I've worked... Worked at a lot of places, Starbucks, casinos, everywhere. But this job is harder than any of them. Not really though. In a different way. In though. a different way. Because you can walk off the job here at any time. Yeah, but it my guilt would just eat me up, and you gotta finish. No, I'm saying like we can just leave. If you're at fucking crab trap, you're there until your shift's over. Can't leave that job. Yeah, I'm brutal. <laughs> but I'm just saying, different um, lifestyle. That different lifestyle. You have to want to work hard on, on uh, for yourself. And certain houses are worse than others. Like this house is just a brutal house, and it's taking us longer, and we're kind of in a rush to get it done. So that makes it more stressful too. We're going day seven on the the heavy foreclosure. Um, we got a huge scrap load right here. I'm gonna try and, my back is so crazy feeling right now, but I'm gonna try and take out this welder out of here. And put it in the garage, I guess. But this is what we're working on. This is the part of the bike that Ray Scott was asking me about. The rest of this stuff is pretty much keep life in there. And then we got this heavy scrap claim, which I might throw in maybe like one more little thing. This little tarp here is not part of the drain. I just put it on here so the neighbors didn't have to look at like the dirt, the dirty metal. But uh, we will see, boys. We will see. All this scrap and then good thing I came over here because these are for Remy this is some of the keep life we got gonna try and make I don't know maybe $200 reward gonna try and make 50 to $75 off of this it's really old but someone might be able to use it for parts or something for 50 bucks you know it is what it is so locked and loaded for the scrap dreams boys
dollars for the scrap load. There's probably a pickup truck load of scrap still left in the basement. But we're going to finish the top of the house, send pictures, because that's what he asked us to do. Finish the shed, send pictures, send pictures of the driveway where the boat and the car were, and work from there. Um, there's a lot of like tables and stuff built into the basement that are just going to stay because it's like a permanent structure of, of the house. So uh, that's our next plan and then see what happens from there. Uh, take the cash register probably from the basement and maybe any other stuff that's scrapped today that we can and put two pieces of furniture in here that we're going to try and resell. And you know it's coming down to the wire like after today there's probably only one more day and the job's totally done so yeah this has been one whole week today on the same job um, I'm not gonna even tell how much we sold the bike for because I don't want to get backlash either way I give away too much inf personal information already and you know I'm just being straight up honest I, I really like people's opinions are too much for me to handle um, if I feel okay with it it doesn't matter how anyone else feels so just saying we made out on the job made enough money to make it worth it made some awesome videos and now we know we can tackle jobs that are way beyond you know our, our what we formally our capabilities like never did a job this crazy ever in my life but to having the power couple me and Sammy and then Mike Flores on the job and my dad and just all the aspects and working parts that came together to create like the dream team I would call it uh, made it happen so you know without I probably wouldn't even have taken on the job realistically or even been in this position if I never met Sammy so this is this couple right here is what's making these videos happen for you guys so thank you Can know they see me? the universe yeah because oh, it's fish eye it should be able to see you thank the universe for bringing us together if you guys enjoy our videos because you know without without this this claim right here you know you wouldn't be able to enjoy this same level of entertainment uh, if that's what you call it entertainment I just call it living a daily life and filming it but yeah so heavy claims and we're bringing the trailer back down I'm gonna park it in the driveway and fill it with trash if need be and then so one more trash load a little bit of scrap and I don't even know I don't even know but we're, we're, we're finishing off the top of everything. The basement's not going to be finished today. That's it. But we'll, we'll update you guys in a minute on the situation. Oh, this is Saturday. Do you need me to hold it on one end? last two pieces in the house these are both key play yeah I want to just do that take pictures what I said it's not PG it's insane so we're digging through this stuff this is a copper piece some scrap in here we find found a horny frog 
This is like a Most of this bro. stuff is scrap down here. Bro, bro. Could scrap that out. Oh. Do we'll you just, want this thing? Nah, put all this to the curb. Yeah? I will, because that's asbestos. It's not worth going through. Dude, look who showed up for the grand finale. Dude, there's no way you came here for fun reasons. Paul. Hey, Daddy, <laughs> Are you gnarly for doing that? For what? For fun reasons you came here? Yeah. No way. Yeah. You're lying. Check out the <laughs> Dude, it's fucking crazy. Did this you see what, that? This is what your house is going to look like when you die. <laughs> when I die? So I'm going to be dying like tomorrow then. <laughs> we needed that the whole time though, dude. This guy shows up with the official spot in Warvia cart. <laughs> <laughs> right though? Pretty much. And it's a convertible thing so you can lay it down. Oh my god. How much do you think that would run you at Harbor Freight? I wouldn't buy a ham truck at Harbor Freight. Well, <laughs> let's just be real here. <laughs> I would never buy a ham truck at Harbor Freight. Let's just be real here. I would find her up here. I'd run a little Look how awesome you are, though. Yeah, well, listen. I bought a half, only a half dozen. And I said, oh, can I have one cream? I bought two creams. They're all for you guys. I went to a church sale this morning. That's pretty awesome. And, um, She's so awesome. She brought us donuts. Well, I told you I was bringing them yesterday, and I don't even. And they're from. The, I'm gonna just take one. Yeah, that's perfect. These are cinnamon cream. What is that? Are you a camera? Are you photographing? Yeah, me? filming you because you're a god for doing <laughs> Wait, this. Heavy clean. What's the clean today? <laughs> clean today. Um, I'm just here to help out as much as I can. Got my. That's from bags. natural painting, right? Yep. Because they make that like Ralph Lauren <laughs> had it in their magazine. Or oh, I know. Well, I, I sell these on eBay. So. Oh, you do? Yeah. Because everybody tells me I should just sell them. Yeah. They're you smart idea. I patch them up. And... Yeah. Well, Epic. Cool. Yes. You're going. Yeah, you're. <laughs> don't come back down. Nothing's left in the house again? No, not really. <sighs> this cart life. Oh man, this is heavy. Heavy and smelly. Dude, nobody acts like this. <laughs> this lady is gnarly. What's your claim? Pretty much. Hand truck claims. You need one. No, do you want those Nintendos though? You could probably use them. No, but I don't know. Level Up used to buy stuff like this. They might still buy it. Take it out there. I doubt they work. What's the claim? The claim is that's a fine. <laughs> this is a fine. I used to love dog. Pull it out. It. Yeah, definitely take this up to level up at the mall and sell it. I have the Pac-Man game too. Sell. What's in the second one? Oh my God, Nothing. I love these games. Nothing. These might work. They might, uh, but you would need. Hey, they used to rent them, I think, at their video store. That's yeah, why they had you would so need many. The power cable and I have it all. Yeah, in my well, house. I already have two of these. Then dust it off and try it. If they work, you could sell them for a lot. I don't know. What if it was just mine? Oh, perfect, boys. We got some professionals on the job today. Heavy crew, Paul Venez. Is that gonna just go over that? I need that, that, I need that dolly. on the top just down because I could scrap that whole piece just not the whole thing you know like to an extent all right 
we are done here for now. Uh, she's taking the picture with the car and boat gone, sending it to the agent, and we're out of here. But uh, another whole load of shit. Yeah. Another whole load, taking it back to the house. Rolling Route 9 back again. Um, epic day, really. We had uh, the same lady that stopped here and took the clock, this little clock. She came and gave us donuts. And then this other lady that, uh, Penny Pincher, Dream, came and helped us out pretty much for like three hours, two or three hours with Paul, too. So, like, total legendary friends to have. I'm gonna take a picture of this for a curb alert though, hold on. Okay, um, back at the house now. Got this trailer filled up still. Just keep life, just scrap life and just sell life. Foreclosure dreams are so heavy, but here's the trailer. A Little bit of what's in it. So, Sammy Sue on YouTube messaged me on Instagram and said, possibility that some of the Nintendos could be worth a lot of money depending on the serial number so I'm going to look that up and just take a look so shout out to her thank you um, craziest news ever we got uh, Joe was putting in an application to bid another job not that we're going to definitely get it or even get the bid but he sent me a couple pictures and it looks Bobcat style uh, not as gnarly as this but Shit's heavy in the foreclosure game. Um, either way, if he gets it, if we get the bid and we can bid it, uh, I'm going to 100% try and bid it. So, uh, for the dream, and, you know, we got to just keep pushing every day here. So, almost totally done the job. I would say 90% done, if not fully done. Like, I sent all the pictures, he's submitting everything. Um, if they're like, okay, go back and finish whatever, I'm going to do it because that's the responsibility of, you know, the job. You got to finish it totally. But, uh, whew, this garage, bike gone. But this is what it looks like in here. This is only like really two big jobs and the whole garage is filled. It's mostly like stuff that has to be either sorted, thrown out, goodwill, um, scrapped, or sold at this point. Um, a lot of stuff in here we use, but mostly, most of this stuff, unless it's specific tools, um, I want to just get rid of at this point. So, you, no matter what, you know, if you keep pushing and pushing and pushing, you're going to get something and you're going to get somewhere. So never give up, boys, never give up. All right, what's the claim? So our friend, is it Helene? Johannesson. Johannesson. I think it's it's Helen or Helene. Um, left a comment telling us whose art this was, and it's what was his name? Louis Louis Kamnitzer. And I I mean I thought it was worth money from the beginning, but the estimated value is like a thousand to fifteen hundred. There was only a hundred made ever. Because it says and it 71 is, out The of signature is pretty legit. I mean, it obviously is it. Look at it. Let's see the signature. Uh, uh, right here. See it? I mean, I don't know if they can see it on the camera, but I can see it. Yeah, it's definitely It's the it. same exact thing. I mean, this one's a little rough on the wear because it was in like a moldy frame before we saved it. But, uh, I don't know. I would say there's only a hundred made ever of this, and they're highly collectible, obviously, uh, in the condition that it's in right now, with, you know, a little bit decayed, a tiny bit, but the painting's totally fine. I'd say still worth like 800, easily. What would you say? I'd say 1,500. Okay. So... 1937. Whatever, same thing. Um, yeah, it's from the 1930s, what do you mean? Yeah. I'm not denying you, I'm just saying that. It's Martin Buba, Bubar, Boober that is the illustration of. 
JMB Publishers. All right, rolling by the local pizza joint, and who do we see but Sasquatch with arms full of food inside? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. Look. <laughs> He's staring up the shaka. The shaka bra. The shaka bra. Dude, what's the claim? Do you guys want a hoagie? Don't, we nah, just got we hoagies to eat at Bob's. Don't back the fuck up, dude. This car's in reverse. What are you talking about? What? You I don't... just backed into this spot. What do you mean? Do you want a, do you want a hoagie drive. real quick? Before no, we, we don't. You you sure? you must one, two one, pieces one. of pizza yeah. real quick. Do you want some slices? You want two slices? Come on, let's get your shit together. Then you better either. fucking do it because I got his credit card, bitches. I got it. I'm going to pay for it. Let's go. Put it in park right the fuck now. Get out you want to get? I don't have care. Your diet you do don't fucking work. Get out. <laughs> don't fucking work here. Come on, come on. Stop being shy. Just get the fuck out of the car. We <laughs> have stuff to do. This is fucking duping. Heaviest sunsets ever out here. That lady told us, remember? All right, we are back to the house now. Uh, my boy, actually, I dropped some other, the engine, the battery cover and some other parts from the bike that I had found uh, off at his garage. And he just sent me a video of the thing fired up and running. Um, so I'll update you guys with that video right now. And, uh, yeah, heavy week, really, really heavy week. Worked crazy hours to try and get that thing done because it wasn't just, like, being at the house and going for it. We had to 